it's all like everything outside is white right now. Um, and I've noticed natural lighting just looks better in the spring when there's I have a giant tree here to block out the sun. <coughs> but anyway, um, I'm back filming on my bed. I haven't filmed on here in a very long time. Um, today I am doing the 10 things that make me happy tag. And I actually am going to be doing 11 things that make me happy. And then I'm probably going to go ahead and do a part 2 to this and then a part 3. Just everything that makes me happy. I'm going to tell everybody. Um, so I found this. I wasn't tagged by anybody, but I found this from... Miss Megan Makeup and Madison Rose Beauty, they collabed it and it was so fun and they're two of my favorites. So, um, yeah. So I have here 11 things that make me happy and I'm just gonna start. Number one is when I look good. And I definitely ripped this directly, I took a lot from their video, but <laughs> I took this one directly from their video because when Maddie was like, when my eyebrow game is strong, like, so like, when my eyebrow game is strong, when my nails are looking good, like, my nails aren't done right now, but when my nails are done perfectly, when, like, I look, when I look good... Like, nothing can stop me. Obviously, like, like, when I don't look my best, when I'm not, like, all done up and I don't, like, feel like I did everything I could to look good that day, I'm not gonna have, like, a bad day. I'm just gonna have, like, eh. You know, I'm gonna have, like, a mediocre kind of day. Like, it's not gonna be the best day, but it's not gonna suck. You know? But, like, all my best days happen when I look bomb. <laughs> like, yeah. I have to look good. Okay, number two is Mod Sun, and that's... Modson is my favorite rapper who, I don't know, I feel like I've mentioned him before. I don't know if I have. I've been listening to him since the summer. Um, Miss Megan Makeup raves about him. And but basically, Modson is just, he's a rapper and he is like, he raps a lot about either smoking weed, which is like most of what he's like, sto I, I would consider him, he calls it hippie hop. I would consider it like, for people who don't know what hippie hop is, I'd be like, oh, stoner rap, basically. Where, like, he raps about smoking weed, and then he raps about positivity and happiness. And my favorite song by Matsan is, um, Picture the Sunrise. It's my favorite, favorite of all time. So, number three is Summertime. I, oh my gosh, like, I always talk about how much I love, like, obviously fall and spring are my favorite seasons. Like, as far as, like, I don't know, weather and as far as, like, dressing goes. But I fucking love summer. We're like, having, like crazy polar vortex out here so I don't know all I've been thinking is it needs to be summer like I want summer to happen right now um okay number four is tattoos I am gonna do a whole video on my tattoos I have five tattoos right now um I am absolutely obsessed with tattoos I love it like I like I Ever, like, I walk out, like, I get a tattoo, and I walk out of the tattoo shop, and I automatically, like, immediately want to turn back in and get something else. Like, I love tattoos. And, like, honestly, like, I could be covered in tattoos, and I wouldn't have enough. Like, also, if you have tattoos, if you're a guy and you have tattoos, bonus points. Number five is reading books. I love to read. And, honestly, I don't care. Like, that's, like, I'm, like, I'm, like, so nerdy about it, too. I'm, like... The minute I finish a book, I have to pick up another one. So, like, I don't have the book with me right now. Um, I don't know. I just finished The Maze Runner and immediately picked up, not The Scorched Trials, I picked up Crossed by Ali Condi, and I'm reading three books, or I'm listening to Delirium on audiobook. I just downloaded The Insurgent audiobook. Um, I'm, I finished Divergent audio. I'm, like, doing, I have... I'm reading Starters by Lisa Price. I have, like, I write, like, I write a blog about books. Like, I have a whole blog dedicated to, like, my reading adventures. So I'm going to link that in the down bar. And I just... Reading books makes me happy. I love it. Okay, and number six is Dream Catchers. I am obsessed with Dream Catchers. I have four Dream Catchers in my bedroom right now. Um, if I, honestly, if I can figure out how to do the whole while I'm still talking and a clip. I'll put that in there. But I have one sitting right here because it's on my purse and I'll show you. I have this one that I got at the Dream... I get all of mine, almost all of... I have three from the Dreamcatcher shop in Ocean City and then one from the Shades of Africa store in King of Prussia. But I have this one. It's just little and bullet and like teal and has two feathers on it or two little strings on it and one bead. I'm absolutely obsessed with Dreamcatchers. Um, that's, that's just like my thing. I'm, I've always been really, I just remember when I was younger, my mom, oh, we still have it. My sister made a dream catcher and like, it's been in our living room and I 
always asked about it. I'm always like, what is that? Like, what does it do? Like, always when I was a kid, I was like, I want one in my room. I want a dream catcher. And now, like, I'm finally, like, going out and getting dream catchers. <laughs> And I'm loving it. I love it. Oh my gosh. I just got the- my favorite one is my purple one. I just got it. And if you- if you watched my Philly vlog, it was in there. It's- I love it so much. And number seven is Pinterest. Oh my god, I could spend hours on Pinterest. Like, it's not even a drill. Like, I would- I'll be- I'll, like, I will get on Pinterest and I'll be on Pinterest for the next day. Um, I will do- I think I want to do a what's on my Pinterest video at some point. I'm- like, I will literally just, like, look up something on Pinterest and just pin- pin pin for like hours it's not even funny anymore it's like I just I'm obsessed with it I love it I love Pinterest number eight is music obviously music makes me happy like I listen to music almost 24 7 like I can't walk from my bedroom to the bathroom without having without having my headphones in um even like when I'm walking from here to downstairs I have to have my headphones in um I'm constantly listening to music like it's a 20 it's pretty much it's like this is like I'm not listening to anything right now and um, it's like weird you know it's like a weird thing to me that I'm not listening to music right now and number nine is watching YouTube videos and if I'm like literally when I'm sad or when I don't feel well I will just literally marathon YouTube videos and I will watch like I got my watch later thing down from 110 to 26 in a day and a half like, that's how, like, I was, it was when I was sick and, like, I couldn't move and, like, I wasn't really moving from bed. So I literally just sat there and just watched, 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 like, a hundred thousand YouTube videos. It was ridiculous. Um, so, yeah, I will spend all my time watching YouTube videos if I have to. Like, I, like, I love it. Okay, number ten is kind of two things. It's the two P's in life, pumpkin spice and pizza. <clears throat> I discovered pumpkin spice this year. I... I've never drank coffee like I don't I couldn't tell you if I've ever I don't even think I've ever had a sip of coffee in my life I I'm not I'm just, I just don't like it like the smell makes me like the smell makes me sick like I know people are like you have to try it and then you have to like get used to it but like honestly like I can't like the smell grosses me out like I can't I mean it smells good but like the thought of drinking it kind of grosses me out so I drink hot chocolate mostly and I drink tea but my friend, I was asking my friend, because I was like, I want to try pumpkin spice, but I don't want to try it in hot chocolate, because that would be so gross. And she was like, why don't you get it in a steamer? And I was like, what? And she was like, what do you mean? She was like, well, it's just pumpkin spice, cream, and, like, whatever you want. I was like, oh my god, I'm going to do it. So I get a, it's a pumpkin, I get, a, every time I go to Starbucks, it's a grande pumpkin cream steamer. It's not called pumpkin spice, but it's the pumpkin spice stuff. And... The Starbucks where I work still has pumpkin spice, but the Starbucks where I live doesn't. So, the, I get the pumpkin, it's a grande pumpkin cream steamer with soy milk instead of cream. And then, um, what am I looking for? What am I thinking? What am I thinking? What am I thinking? And one pump of caramel. It's really expensive. Also pizza, like, I could literally eat pizza every day and not get tired of it. And I know I sound, like, so fat right now, but, like, literally, like, there are days when I'll just eat pizza and it's all I eat that day. Like, I will just be like, yeah, pizza, eating some pizza, whatever, eating no, some pizza. It's, it's, oops, sorry, sorry, ah, sorry. Wow, it stopped filming partway through that and didn't tell me. So. I'm so mad. I, like, I thought about that too. I was like, I didn't film any of this. <laughs> okay, okay, cool. So I'm on my last one. Number 11, my last thing that makes me happy is sleeping. I don't know one person that can go to bed, like, after a bad day and wake up the next day and, like, not feel better. Like, it's not even like crazy. There we go. Like, sleeping is the one thing that you can count on to make you feel better. Also, my bed is incredibly comfortable. I had a really comfortable mattress before, but then, like, when my brother came home when he moved back in after. Oh, drop my phone. When my brother moved back in after college, he, um, brought. He had a twin bed, and I have a twin bed. But my brother brought his double bed home, and he had on top of his twin bed when he that he was getting rid of. Can I, here, let me just explain this a little bit more. His bed was over here. Da, da, da. No, I'm explaining way too much out of this. This is, like, so stupid. But <laughs> he had a pillow top and a memory foam, like, little mattress pad thing on top of his bed. And he was like, well, I'm going to get rid of this. Like, do you want this? And I was like, oh, yes. I was always wondering why his bed at home was so comfortable because I used to always sleep in it because it was so much more comfortable than mine. So I now have, I adopted the pillow top and the memory foam and now my bed is the most comfortable thing I've ever been in and honestly 
there's nothing better for me at least than waking than going to bed twice in the same day um it's one of those things like like yes okay I'm just tell you sorry yesterday I went I could not fall asleep so I didn't fall asleep till like 3 30 right and then so I had to wake up at like 7 to go to work to get on the bus and go to work. and I was so tired the whole rest of the day I came home at like noon and I was like I can't like I can't function I was dying I filmed a makeup tutorial I like tried to clean it was just it was a really rough day and then it was like 10 o'clock at night and I was like what am I gonna do like I'm so bored and I was like oh I'm gonna go to sleep <laughs> so I went to sleep twice in the same day four o'clock in the morning and then unless you're like my brother who thinks the day starts at 6 a.m. um yeah four o'clock in the morning I went to okay fine I went to bed twice on the calendar day so I went to bed at four o'clock in the morning and then I went to bed at 10 30 at night and oh my god I just slept for 12 hours and it felt so good I love it so that is 11 things that make me happy and I want to hear from you guys I want you to comment down below and tell me as many things as you want that make you happy I <clears throat> I just want to know about it I don't care what it is I just want to know what makes you guys happy and I also want to know what you guys want to see on this channel if you want to see more beauty videos if you want to see more vlog style videos if you want to see more just sitting down like talking like tag kind of videos <clears throat> I don't know um, let me know if you want to see more book videos, whatever you want. I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna do it all, but I will, f whatever, honestly, whatever you guys want. Literally. I, um, yeah. Like, I do, I make videos because I like to, but I also make videos because I want people to watch them, obviously. So, yeah, let me know down below, and thank you guys for watching, and if you're new, please feel free to, or please do not forget to subscribe, and feel free to tell all your friends about me, because I'm awesome, and let's just grow the fearless family as big as we can. Like... <laughs> Um, yeah, thank you guys so much. Um, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.